Mmm, sweet, delicious trash. Hey Fragrance Family, I'm David, I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a review on a new fragrance that is just coming out today, I believe, as of, as of a publishing date here. And that is I Am Trash by Atatlib Durange. Now, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. So Tatlib Durange uh, contacted me and sent an advance uh, press sample here of I Am Trash. It's not going to affect my review at all, but just wanted to disclose that ahead of time. Now, I have samples of a lot of the Tatlib Durange line, and they have some really interesting fragrances, some that are very experimental, <laughs> like Secretions Magnifique, others that are just gorgeous. Tatlib Durange spent a lot of time in uh, research and development, rethinking the idea of how to make a fragrance from ingredients. And what they decided on was to take uh, materials that were used for perfumes and were already extracted once, and recycle them again and extract them a second time to create a perfume from those exhausted materials. So what you get apparently is a more eco-friendly uh, fragrance that is used from recycled materials that were just supposed to be thrown away. And that's where they get the name I Am Trash. You're getting a lot of the materials, about half of the materials in here, from recycled uh, trash. All right, so let's get straight to it here. Date introduced is uh, 2018, this year. It's classified as an oriental floral. Notes are bitter orange, apple essence, lemongrass, green tangerine, rose absolute, isoe super, strawberry, cedarwood, sandalore, uh, which is a synthetic sandalwood, and akigala wood, which I found out is a synthetic uh, peppery woody fragrance. Kind of has a patchouli type of scent. Of these ingredients, seven of them have been upcycled. Longevity on this was pretty good. I would say it's in the average range. And uh, for projection, I would say it's in the average range, uh, maybe a little bit above average. So I got about the eight hour range for longevity. And it, it lasted for a good long time and really projected for a while. Season, I think this is great for spring and summer. And for purpose, I think this is great for casual and work. And I think this could be used best in the daytime. So what are my thoughts on this scent? Well, I'm really thrilled to review this scent. Um, I really enjoy this scent a lot. Um, I wasn't sure exactly how the kind of recycling process would work with this. When I first smelled this though, I was really impressed. It's a very fruity, uh, somewhat floral type of scent. Right away, it reminds me of a couple of things that I've already smelled that have been out before. Some of the scents it reminds me of, Pulp from Byredo, uh, Versace Man Eau Fraiche, and also the newest one from Juliet has a gun, Moscow Mule. So from all of those, you can kind of get the impression that's very fruity, and it's very fruity, very watery and fresh, and it has that just really kind of uh, fresh fruit type of smell. So right away when I smell it, I get the kind of smell of like a fruit tray. So if you ever had like one of those fruit trays for breakfast, uh, like at a meeting or something like that, there's strawberries and apples and melons and pineapples and um, everything you can think of. And that's what this smells like. It has that kind of ozonic, watery, fresh cut fruit type of smell that is just almost mouth-watering. It's just beautiful. So it's a very fruity type of scent, but it's very balanced with a lot of the other notes in there. You do get apple, but it's not an apple bomb. You do get some florals, but it's not overly floral. Whenever you go back to it and you look at the notes, you can definitely pick up some of the other notes like orange, lemongrass, rose, a very strong strawberry note in here. Sometimes strawberry in fragrances uh, don't translate well. A lot of times strawberry notes come off really kind of um, synthetic and harsh, uh, but in this one it comes off really uh, nice and beautiful. But despite how much woods it has in the notes, I really don't get much of a woody presence in this at all. Maybe when it dries down a little bit, you kind of get that. Uh, once it dries down, some of the kind of really bright uh, fruity aspects of that kind of mute a little bit. Um, they kind of dwindle down in their their strength, but at the same time, it, it doesn't become dull, but it's mostly linear, and I think that's okay. I think that's a very good thing in this case because of the start, because of how uh, gorgeous it is from the start. I don't want that to ever go away. <laughs> now, Hotly Durange says that this is a unisex scent, and I believe them, but I think this skews a little bit more towards uh, women, I think, because a lot of fragrances that women are more used to are kind of that fruity oriental type of thing already. But there is enough of a uh, unisex edge to this where I think that if a man wore this, he'll just smell nice. 
but it's not a very powerful masculine, I think. Atali Durange did an excellent job in creating this. They made a really fresh, vibrant type of scent from something that should be trash. And that's really uh, exceptional, I think, and really a technological wonder. They've just done an amazing job, and I'm just really uh, thrilled about the scent overall. As for compliments, uh, my wife didn't love it. Uh, she liked it, but she didn't love it. And I've repeated myself a million times about this, but it's one of those type of scents where it's just a little bit too strong for my wife. And I don't think this is a very strong scent, but my wife is just a little bit sensitive to uh, stronger type of smells. But it's a great scent, I think, that will get you compliments because of how fresh and fruity it smells. It's just a really wonderful, uh, vibrant scent. Bang for buck, this is $149 for 100 mil. I think that's a pretty good value for what you're getting here. That's kind of the standard price of entry for a really nice a niche fragrance. It's easy breezy to wear, and uh, I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. So I think there's a good bang for buck here. They also have 50 and 30 mil bottles if you want to for a little bit less uh, money too. Overall, I am almost at a loss of words at how they achieved this. I don't know how the process works. I don't know how they could get uh, fragrance from already exhausted materials. I have no idea how they did it. What's more is I don't know how they got that to be this good. And that in itself is just blowing my mind here. This needs to be something that you try this year. I'll have a link down below to the best place where you can buy this as well as a link to a place where you can buy a sample of this for just a few bucks. So that's all I have. What do you think of I Am Trash? Have you tried it yet? Probably haven't yet, but you need to. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. And of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave Earth, Fragrance Bros. Bye.